Hi guys, welcome back to Nat and Essie Craft. Today I will be teaching you how to make the simplest form of a friendship bracelet. Once you know how to make the simple stitch, there are endless opportunities to make so many different designs. And on this channel, we will be showing you them all. So don't forget to hit a big thumbs up and subscribe to Nat and Essie Crafts. That way you can learn how to make some fun designs. And in this video, the most basic friendship bracelet. To get started, you need four colors. Cut about four feet of string. You want it to be longer rather than shorter. And then we tie a knot two inches to three inches from the top. And let's go ahead and tape it to the table. Separate the strings in the pattern you want. We are working our way from left to right. This here is called a forward stitch when we go this way. Later on, when you get a little bit better, there will be another stitch called the backward stitch that goes in this direction. A forward stitch always means that you're starting with a string on the left and the string will end up on the right. So here's how the forward stitch looks like. Place your string over the following string, left to right. Place your fingers inside, grab that string, and pull it through. Since we are making a knot with the string from the left, this one will be loose and the one on the right will be tight. If you accidentally made the right one loose and the left one tight, you can see the loop changes and it becomes a different color. So whatever loop you're making, hold the other one tight. You will do two stitches on each string. So over, go underneath, grab it through, hold the yellow tight, and pull tight. Okay? Now the white string is on the right hand side of the yellow string. We're going to do the same thing now with the orange still making white knots. Over, grab in, one, two. By making the forward knot going over and under, you will always have the white string end up on the right hand side. Over and under over and under. We now have worked the white string all the way from the left over to the right. So the next string we will be using is the color yellow. Since yellow is our loop, we're going to go over and tight, over and tight. Again, we're going to go over and under, but not this way because the string is on the left hand side. So we're going to go over from the left and under from the right. One, two, and again. One, two. Now we've worked the yellow one all the way over to the right hand side. You can see closely that we have three stitches for each row because the yellow has gone over three colors. Same thing, we're going to go over and under, over and under. I'm going to show you a little bit faster. You can now actually hold your strings in your hand to move them out of your way. Over, under, over, under. Okay, so here are some mistakes you can make when you're learning. Since we are going from left to right, you're going to go over from the left and under from the right. A mistake people make 
is instead of going from left to right, if you're, they go right to left. This here is a backward stitch. That's something you'll use later when you make the chevron design, but for the straight candy cane, you're always going to go left to right. Pick your next color, and you can see exactly which one's next because they separate nicely. Over, and I'm gonna show you one more. Over. Okay, remember, always keep the knot that you're using tight, otherwise you separate it. Otherwise, you make the other color the knot, and then it just looks messy. So, up close, here is what we have so far. The front looks like a pretty knot, and the back looks like you can see the two knots that you make. Here are just some color combinations I made for this simple bracelet. Let me know in the comments if this helped you or not. Also, don't forget to hit a big thumbs up and subscribe to Nat and Essie Crafts for more fun videos like this. Now it's time for you to move on to a thicker bracelet, or I will be adding the link to the Chevron bracelet, which is the next advancement for you to learn in friendship bracelets. I also have video tutorials for some of these other ones. Once you know how to make the Chevron and the candy stripe, the rest of them will be super easy to make. Hi guys, welcome back to Nat and Essie Craft. Today, I will be teaching you how to make the simplest form of a friendship bracelet. Once you know how to make the simple stitch, there are endless opportunities to make so many different designs. And on this channel, we will be showing you them all. So don't forget to hit a big thumbs up and subscribe to Nat and Essie Crafts. That way you can learn how to make some fun designs. And in this video, the most basic friendship bracelet. To get started, you need four colors. Cut about four feet of string. You want it to be longer rather than shorter. And then we tie a knot two inches to three inches from the top. And let's go ahead and tape it to the table. Separate the strings in the pattern you want. We are working our way from left to right. This here is called a forward stitch when we go this way. Later on, when you get a little bit better, there will be another stitch called the backward stitch that goes in this direction. A forward stitch always means that you're starting with a string on the left and the string will end up on the right. So here's how the forward stitch looks like. Place your string over the following string, left to right. Place your fingers inside Grab that string and pull it through. Since we are making a knot with the string from the left, this one will be loose and the one on the right will be tight. If you accidentally made the right one loose and the left one tight, you can see the loop changes and it becomes a different color. So whatever loop you're making, hold the other one tight. You will do two stitches on each string. So over, go underneath, grab it through, hold the yellow tight, and pull tight, okay? Now the white string is on the right-hand side of the yellow string. We're going to do the same thing now with the orange, still making white knots. Over, grab in, One, two. By making the forward knot going over and under, you will always have the white string end up on the right hand side. Over and under. Over and under. 
We now have worked the white string all the way from the left over to the right. So the next string we will be using is the color yellow. Since yellow is our loop, we're going to go over and tight, over and tight. Again, we're going to go over and under, but not this way because the string is on the left hand side. So we're going to go over from the left and under from the right. One, two, and again. One, two. Now we've worked the yellow one all the way over to the right hand side. You can see closely that we have three stitches for each row because the yellow has gone over three colors. Same thing, we're going to go over and under, over and under. I'm going to show you a little bit faster. You can now actually hold your strings in your hand to move them out of your way. Over, under, over, under. Okay, so here are some mistakes you can make when you're learning. Since we are going from left to right, you're going to go over from the left and under from the right. A mistake people make is instead of going from left to right, if you're, they go right to left. This here is a backward stitch. That's something you'll use later when you make the chevron design, but for the straight candy cane, you're always going to go left to right. Pick your next color and you can see exactly which one's next because they separate nicely. Over, and I'm gonna show you one more. Over. Okay, remember, always keep the knot that you're using tight, otherwise you separate it. Otherwise, you make the other color the knot and then it just looks messy. So up close, here is what we have so far. The front looks like a pretty knot and the back looks like you can see the two knots that you make. Here are just some color combinations I made for this simple bracelet. Let me know in the comments if this helped you or not. Also, don't forget to hit a big thumbs up and subscribe to Nat and Essie Crafts for more fun videos like this. Now it's time for you to move on to a thicker bracelet or I will be adding the link to the chevron bracelet, which is the next advancement for you to learn in friendship bracelets. I also have video tutorials for some of these other ones. Once you know how to make the chevron and the candy stripe, the rest of them will be super Hey guys, this is Nat and Essie Crafts and today I will be teaching you how to make a rainbow candy striped friendship bracelet. This is the most basic of the friendship bracelets. Look at all those pretty colors. You will be needing exactly four colors or more or you can copy my exact design with this rainbow layout. Are you guys ready to get started to learn the basic friendship bracelet design? You can see on the back side, it looks different than the front. You need colors of string. I will be using 12 to make this bracelet and some scissors and some tape. You can take it to your leg, to a surface, anywhere you want. When we get started, you can see that the string is very long. If you were to stretch out your arms as far as they can go, that is about the length of string you need. I'm going to make a knot and leave two inches, two to three inches on the other side. I'm not going to pull it all that tight because I have to make sure that my strings can be laid out exactly where I want them to be when I get started. 
So watch, I tape it to the table and I'm going to separate them where I want my colors to be. Okay, perfect. I now made my knot a little bit tighter and as you can see, all my strings are kind of sitting where I would like them to be. Now I'm working left to right. Throw the green string over the first yellow string. I do have a diagram on the side for you. Reach inside, pull the green through. Make sure the yellow one is held tight because watch what happens if you don't. I make the green one tight, the knot will be yellow. So make sure yellow is tight because you're trying to make a green knot. Always go twice per string. Put the yellow to the side and grab your next yellow string. Again, always go over and loop in. Always two knots over and in. Push them to the side and grab your next color. Over and in. Over and in. Go all the way across. Row one is always super messy, so don't get discouraged. Just remember your order. Okay, you can see row one looks messy. It always does. Don't get discouraged, like I said. The farther you go, the more you'll see a clean pattern. We're going to do the same thing now. However, now our yellow string is the one on the left. So we're going to take our yellow string and go across. I'm showing you a new technique now. You can see all the strings I am holding in my hand are the ones that I am not using. This keeps all the other strings out of my sight. And I can do my next row in a clean fashion.
You can see it's starting to look a little prettier. I'm going to go ahead and start with row three, always left to right, over and under, twice per string. And now that you guys understand the basics, I will finish this bracelet and then I will show you the finished product. Good luck! Three rows is all you need to get the basics. Okay, here it is. Thanks for watching. We are the only channel that give you a diagram on the side while you are watching a video. This is the basic bracelet, the candy stripe. Please subscribe to Nat and Essie Craft for more fun crafts, especially more friendship bracelets to come.